So let's review how to determine which way a stream is flowing by looking at a topographic map. Okay, let's take a look at this map. Uh, let's take a look at this stream that is flowing over here. It's not marked, but that is a stream. There are actually two ways to determine which way the stream is going. So let's take a look at both. The first way is by looking at the contour lines. When a contour line crosses a stream, the contour line bends and forms a V. This is significant because the tip of the V shows you where the water is coming from. So this stream would be coming from over here, which means the water is flowing in this direction, which if we look at our compass would be going towards the southeast. So that's the first way to determine it. The other way that you could determine the direction is by looking at the elevations of the contour lines. Okay? If this contour line is 150 meters and this contour line over here is 100 meters, we can also figure out which way the stream is flowing because we know that water can't flow uphill. So water cannot go from 100 meters up to 150. It has to be going down. Okay? If we take a look at this river right over here, okay, again, we could look at our contour lines. They do form Vs. And the tip of the V shows us the source of the stream. So this stream is coming from up here, and it's flowing down this way into the lake. So it's pretty much flowing south into the lake. Let's take a look at another map. All right, we have a couple of streams on this map. Let's start with Maple Stream over here. So let's use the contour lines. Let's look for the Vs. So I can see a V here. I can see a V here. I even see one way up here. So again, the tip of the V shows us where the water is coming from. So in this case, Maple Stream is coming from up here. This is the source. And so it's flowing in this direction, which according to our compass rows, is the southwest. Okay. Um, Colden Creek over here, if we look at our lines, here are our Vs, is also flowing in a southerly direction towards the lake. Okay. Let's take a look at one more map. All right, now this one is more of a real topographic map that they might use at the USGS. And in blue over here, there is a stream marked. So the question is, which way is this stream flowing? Okay. Well, again, we have two ways to do this. We can look at the contour lines and we can look at the Vs. Okay. So again, the Vs show us where the water's coming from. So the water's got to be coming from over here somewhere, which means the water is flowing up in this case, probably north, but there's no compass rows, so we can't figure out, but it is flowing up towards the top of the map. The other way, again, that we could determine this is by looking at the elevations. So over here, I'm seeing 9,600. Okay, so these elevations are in the 9,000s. And over here, I'm seeing 8,400. So I know that water cannot flow uphill. So the water's got to be starting up here by the 9,000s, flowing down towards the 8,000s.